There's a quick demonstration of customizing our tool palette over here. You'll see that there's a little down arrow in the lower right corner of this, and if we hold it in, it opens up other tools. It's actually, there are several different things that are shown here in the tool palette that do the same thing. So if we want to have these up front so we can get to them right away, we can go to Tools, uh, sorry, uh, Customize, and Interface. And in this window, we have our tool sets. And in this case over here, this is our 3D drafting tool sets. And I've been playing with solids editing. Anything below this line here is not seen over here. So we're going to move some of these to above the line so we can see them. And those are other things that I had in the drop-down menu. I'm going to add uh, Union and Subtract. And then I'm going to bring up Slice because I use it a lot. And Extrude. And I can leave the other ones alone. Let's see which other ones I want to play with here. This one over here, Solid Primitives drop down. It won't uh, react for me while I'm over here. Um, solids create box cone, sphere, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to bring box up. So I'm going to hit apply. And you see this side just got longer. So those are the customizable things that I want to do right now. Click OK. So now I have extra functions over here. And I've made Slice available, which is the one that I wanted. So that's the demonstration of just how to uh, customize these buttons over here. Have a good day.